All right, welcome back. I'm Jason Altenberg. We're going to be clicking some cookies today. I wanted to do some more with this script. I think that we can make it a little bit more fun and teach another concept here. Instead of having this GUI, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have some tool tips. So I'm going to comment out all of this code about the GUI here. I did a slash star star slash type of comment here and that instead of the semicolon which comments this out so none of this is going to execute anymore nothing that's comments is going to execute i can type anything i want doesn't matter the slash star does a block the semicolon does a single portion of a line what i wanted to do was first of all show how to do this as a tooltip so tooltip comma a index and click bar. This should give us a tooltip instead of the GUI. And actually let's instead of getting rid of that again, we will do a, just a blank tooltip command here. So this one should give us a tooltip. The other one should destroy it all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it file save tools auto hotkey run yes how many clicks how about thousand excellent okay control alt shift c to click the cookie now you can see right by my cursor here i've got a beautiful little tool tip that's showing up that's telling me how many cookies we're clicking I can do a shift escape. That's going to reload. Remember that it's going to pop that up every time. I'm not really liking that. Honestly, I think what I'll do with this is we will nest this in its own little plus bang and B control alt shift. X actually let's do control alt shift X is going to be our input for how many clicks save tools auto hotkey run yes and then we can do let's just do that control alt shift X will bring up our window here how many clicks 500 now control alt shift C will start clicking control alt shift X again it's going to bring up our how many clicks and we're just gonna hit shift escape to reload everything. All right, so that gives us a basic idea of what's, what's there. This is the count of cookies clicking. This is the count of cookie clicking. File, save, tools, auto hockey, run. Yes, control shift X, 10,000, control shift C. Now you can see I've written, this is the count of cookie clicking here after my little tool tip. It's beautiful. I'm gonna try, uh, let's do shift escape. It's gonna reload our script. Control shift C, control shift X, 10,000, control shift C, alt escape. Now you see when I've paused it though, that my tool tip is there. And one thing I want to note here is that that tool tip, it's always going to be on top there. So it's always going to show on top of our, anything that we're doing. And if we don't destroy it, which is what happens at the end of this loop here, then it's just going to hang out there. We don't really have a great clean way to destroy it right now. So we're just going to leave it there. Another thing I wanted to point out here is that we can use a command called image search in auto hotkey to find specific areas to click on. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to click on an X and Y coordinate. Actually, let's just leave the plus 20. That's just going to give us 20 pixels from the upper left-hand portion of the image. We're going to search for an image called cursor.png. 
Uh, I've already created cursor.png and you can see the cursor is right over here, this image. What I wanna do is I'm actually gonna click off the screen real quick and I'm gonna hit Windows Shift S. And Windows Shift S is gonna get my tool, uh, my screen grab tool. And now I can go ahead and grab this. You can see snip and sketch. This is a Windows function. I can save this as cursor.png, which I've already done. We'll save that, we'll go right over top of it. And now I'm going to reload my script. Here it is, reload, excellent. Okay, now when I hit Alt-1, what should happen is that AutoHockey is going to search for that image wherever it is. It's gotta be pixel perfect. And what does pixel perfect mean? It means exactly like what I did. See, I'm hovering over it right now. If I hit Alt-1, nothing's gonna happen. Why? Because the pixels are different when you hover over this than if you are not hovering over it. So what we're doing now is, oh, and I'm sorry, it's not Alt because Alt is the uh, bang key. So let's hover over it, Control-1. Oh, actually it's uh, worked out just fine there, honestly. But I think that what it's doing is that it was just uh, clicking, it wasn't actually finding anything. It was just delivering a mouse click in that area. Yeah, maybe it wasn't though. All right, so anyways, let's, ooh, frenzy. Control, Alt, Shift, C, Control, Shift, X. Now let's do a thousand clicks here. And Control, Shift, C, we're clicking. All right, now we're here. I'm gonna try and click, uh, or press Alt, One. Sorry, Control, One. Oh, this is probably not the, see how when I'm pressing Shift here? Shift, Alt. I think Alt's gonna be our best bet. So we're gonna Alt Escape. There we go, Alt Escape to pause things. And in here, you can see tool tips in the way here. I actually want the Alt key here. Just because this game, uh, the Alt key isn't going to change anything about the way that things display. And watch when I hit shift. See how when I hit shift, it grays out the cursor here? That's not great because again, we want that pixel perfect match on our click. So if I hover over this, Alt-1 is clicking. All right, Alt-1, there we go. Do you see the mouse move there? Let's do that one more time. We'll control Alt, shift c control shift x How many clicks? A uh, thousand. control shift c we're clicking, we're clicking. Oh, we have enough money to buy a cursor, Alt-1. Oh, look at that. It just kind of moved it right over here and just click, click, click. And it didn't return back over to here. Okay, so we can fix that. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit Alt-Escape to pause. And let's say that I want to return back to the current position. Mouse get pause. Uh, we want output var x, output var y. So we're gonna grab this. We'll do mouse x, mouse y. Okay, we've got mouse click left there. And then we'll do mouse move, mouse. Mouse move, mouse X, and then mouse Y. All right, file, save, tools, auto hotkey, run. Yes. Okay, Alt-1. All right, that's, that's good. Control-Shift-X, 10,000 clicks. Control-Alt-Shift-C, start clicking. All right, great, 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 great. Now we're just gonna wait for that cursor to light up. We'll hit Alt Escape here. We'll grab some other bonuses here and Alt Escape again. All we wanna do is get to a point here where we've got enough cookies to where we can click that cursor once, but not twice. Uh, 
we are doing pretty good here. Pretty good. Alt escape one more time. Do that. Get even more cookies from each of our clicks here. All right, we're waiting to get up to about, well, let's get up to a little over a thousand. That way, once we're a little ways over a thousand, we should have some leeway. All right, we're going to try it now. Alt one. Alt one. There you go. See, there we go. We got one, exactly one cursor. Alt one. All right. Perfect, 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 perfect. What I'm going to do real quick here is now I'm going to grab the grandma and we're going to get a function to click on our grandma. Windows shift S to run my screen grab. We're going to grab a lovely little picture of grandma's face here. Um, actually, we've got a problem. Right again, I want to this to be pixel perfect. Windows shift S. I'm going to click off the screen so that I can grab the grandma's face here that is in a way that is going to match exactly when it's lit up. I'm gonna hit save. We're gonna call this grandma, uh, grandma.png. And now we're gonna go back into our script. We're gonna make bang two as our grandma click. All right. So instead of cursor, grandma.png. Really, that's it. That's the whole change that we're going to make. Bang two is click grandma, save, tools, auto hockey, run. Yes, perfect. All right, we'll close out of that. Now we're just going to go back to our click frenzy here. Control Alt Shift X, 20,000 clicks. Control Alt Shift C. Beautiful. All right, looks like I can afford a grandma alt two, a cursor, alt one, alt one, alt one, alt two, alt two, alt two, alt two. So you can see how quickly and easily that this might allow us to program little functions in, little hacks, shortcuts, time savers, whatever you want to call it, to where we can just quickly and easily program these things. And if you've got some sort of a, a stream deck, you know, or some sort of an external keyboard where you can just press specific buttons, especially on like a regular laptop computer, having an external number pad via USB, or even just using your number pad as sort of a control, uh, allows you to really quickly and easily start manipulating a lot of mouse based controls via your keyboard. Hopefully this has been helpful in illustrating how cool it is to have little tool tips and illustrating how quickly and easily you can use image search to find specific coordinates on the screen to click on. If this video has helped you, please like the video. If you feel so inclined, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you're trying to click on, what you're trying to work with. I'd love to help you solve your auto hockey problems. I'd love to help you automate your day. and always if you could subscribe to the channel that will help me grow I do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and everybody who's watched my videos over the years thank you and i hope you're having a lovely day